What is good, YouTube? Man, oh man, god damn. We got drama for you guys. This is rolling out tonight. At the time of this recording, um, breaking news is breaking out right now that Lil Wayne and Coda Back is supposed to be released tomorrow, which is January 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Let's start out with Kodak Black. Now, I'm a fan of Kodak. Everyone is a fan of Kodak. But I feel like this time around, since he's been to jail, he also made apologies to uh, Lauren London about disrespecting Nipsey. He um, did donations while he's in jail. He's really didn't made pleas on to get out of jail early. So... I just want to see when he gets out, is he just going to go back to just being, I don't give a fuck, Kodak, or, or is he really going to be, is he really going to be somebody different? Y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about that, man. Is he, is this a new Kodak, or is this just, was that just a front to get out of jail? Because if you haven't remember, he was doing a lot of complaining while he was in jail, and he did a lot of growing up in jail, so that's very good to see he's getting out. Moving on to Wayne. Now, Little Wayne, my thing is this. Little Wayne is um, supposed to be facing 10 years. But technically, he hasn't even done his time yet. So, why or oh why did he sell those masters? That's all I want to know. Like, why would you sell the masters? Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Now that he's out of jail and he's going to continue make music and Drake's going to continue to make music and Nicki Minaj is going to continue to make music, why did you sell the masters? You know, on top of that, he didn't even go to jail. So do you think that was a good decision? What is really behind the scenes with that type of deal? Because I feel like he was scared into that deal or forced into the deal. So y'all let me know in the comment section, man. I'm just giving y'all some quick little updates on what's going on. I'll catch you guys on the next one.